Welcome to the 2019 Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. I'm Pirates President Frank Coonley. Baseball teaches our young people so many great things like teamwork, sportsmanship, and discipline, all values that will serve them well in their lives away from the diamond. The Pirates are focused on encouraging young people in our region to play baseball and softball and then to pass on their love for the game to their own kids, just like my parents did for me. The Pony League provides kids across the country and the globe with the opportunity to play our national pastime at a high level. The Pirates are proud to support the very highest level of Pony League competition that is played here in our region at the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. On behalf of the Pirates organization, good luck to all the teams that have made it to Washington County. We hope that everyone enjoys the fun and excitement of the 2019 Pony League World Series. for baseball and welcome to Lou Hayes Pony Field. It's the opening night of the 2019 Pony World Series. We're in Washington County, Pennsylvania, and we're just about set to get this going. It is day one of the seven day 10 team tournament and we'll have the starting lineups announced in just a couple of moments. Before we do that, let's take a look at the bracket. Our first game tonight features Arecibo of Puerto Rico taking on Hagerstown, Maryland, a first time tournament appearance for Hagerstown. Youngstown will take on the Mexico zone champion a little bit later on tonight. The lower bracket, you've got a couple of first timers in London coming to Washington to take on the host team, Washington PA, and a couple of veterans, Brownsville, Texas, back at the World Series along with Bay County, Michigan, making its seventh straight appearance. Let's get the starting lineups for this first game now. Here's our public address announcer, Bob Gregg. Here are your lineups for both teams in tonight's opening game of the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. First of all, for Hagerstown, Maryland, leading off and playing shortstop, number eight, Dylan Shoemaker. Yeah. Batting second and pitching, number 13, Jake McAllister. Batting third, the catcher, number 15, Jacob Hill. <laughs> Batting fourth and playing third base, number 99, Braden Barr. <laughs> Batting fifth and playing right field, number 27, Fletcher Lewis. <laughs> Batting sixth, the left fielder, number one, Carter Conroy. <laughs> Batting seventh and playing first base, number 34, TJ Josenhans. <laughs> Batting eighth and playing second base, number 12, Octavius Drummond. Batting ninth and playing center field, number nine, Coleman Bergruner. Double zero, Sincere Kelly. Number two, Daniel Thomas. Number 10, Eli Fleming. Number 16, Ethan Cheney. Number 69, Dominic Ross. Coach Frankie McAllister. Coach Eddie Malfers. And the manager, Dave Barr. Hagerstown, Maryland. East Zone champions. Here for the first time at the World Series, the home team tonight, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Leading off the center fielder, number six, Joshua Shaparo. <laughs> Batting second, the shortstop, number two, Yenziel Figueroa. <laughs> Batting third and playing third base, number 99, Adrian Salas. <laughs> Batting fourth, the pitcher, number 17, Yoaniel Santos. Batting fifth and catching, number 24, Samuel Cruz. Batting sixth and playing first base, number 19, Joel Core. Batting seventh and playing right field, number 27, Derek Trinidad. Batting eighth, the left fielder, number one, Jeremy Rivera. Batting ninth and playing second base, number 33, Victor A. Sapero. Number four, Yasiel Orocho. Number seven, Jensen Arazo. Number 15, Victor Rivera. Number 21, Marcus Orocho. Number 22, Victor Y. Sapero. Number 25, Julian Ramirez. Coach Angel Perez. Coach Rafael Trinidad. And the manager, Victor Sapero. 
Caribbean champion, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Umpiring at home plate, Jeff Vrabel Sr. At first base, Dave Smolko. At second base, Jeff Duchelis. And at third base, Pat Carney. Decisions committee, Terry Faust, Tom O'Connor, and tournament director, Rick Melton. At this time, we ask that you all rise for the Pony Prayer and our national anthems. Gentlemen and boys, please remove your hats. Thank you to all veterans and active duty members of the United States Armed Forces for your service. We invite you to render a hand salute during the Star Spangled Banner. Almighty God, help us to realize that we are gathered here to watch young people play baseball, not to second guess strategy, dispute decisions, or question ability. That we are here to cheer, to encourage, and to join in the fun that is baseball, not to jeer, discourage, or otherwise degrade the game that while officials and players are expected to perform within the bounds of certain standards, we also, as spectators, are expected to conduct ourselves within the bounds of good sportsmanship. May this contest end without injury, without feelings of ill will, without disgrace, but as an activity worthy of thy blessing. Amen. On a beautiful Friday night in Washington, Pennsylvania, the beginning of the 2019 Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Hagerstown, Maryland against Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Our uh, broadcast, also uh, the uh, video streaming of this game on MLB.com and the Pony League World Series webpage plws.org with uh, Mike Parsons and Dan Lohman as the executive producers of uh, Pikewood Creative, Roger Lenhart, the producer, Scott Bartlett, the director of these uh, games, uh, could be 17 of them with the championship game 
Thursday, August the 15th. 77 glorious degrees. Wind eight miles per hour. Oh, it's good to see that forecast. Partly sunny, beautiful night. By the way, uh, in case you'd forgotten, uh, there is a pitch limit for Pony Baseball for players ages 13 and 14. The maximum that any one young man may throw, 95 pitches on a, on a given day. And Arecibo, Puerto Rico, takes the field. As I was watching the, uh, the players and our TV coverage of the players going down the lines well, first of all, the Puerto Rican national anthem was being played in the United States, the Star Blast Star Banner. I was sitting here wondering what's going through the minds of these young individuals, just 13, 14 years of age. They've traveled to Washington, Pennsylvania for an opportunity to compete in the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. What an outstanding tradition in Washington County. So on the mound for Arecibo, Puerto Rico, is Santos, the right-hander. Arecibo, the uh, Caribbean champions, the batting order for Hagerstown, Shoemaker, McAllister, Hill, Braden Barr, Fletcher Lewis, Carter Conroy, TJ, Joe and Hans, and uh, Octavius Drummond and Coleman Braguner. For Dave Barr, defensively, Puerto Rico has Rivera in left, Chaparro in center, Trinidad in right, Salas in third, Figueroa the shortstop. Alejandro Saparo Jr., one of the sons of the manager of the team, at second base, court first, and Samuel Cruz catching. The dimensions of Blue Hayes Pony Field, keep in mind that this is not a field of 90 feet, but 80 feet, and uh, the pitching distance is 40 feet, 50, uh, 54 feet rather, not the 60 feet, six inches that normally uh, are a part of uh, uh, minor league baseball, well, high school baseball, college baseball. 250 down the lines at Lou Hayes Pony Field. 285 to the gaps, 305 to straightaway center field. And I'd say that the outfield fence is about uh, 14 feet high. And leading off for Hagerstown, Maryland, Dylan Shoemaker, Frankie McAllister, Jake's dad is the uh, Coach at first. And ready to go at 542. On August the 9th, we start the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. First pitch of the game. Hit to right field. And casually moving over Trinidad to make the catch. And will bring up uh, Jake McAllister, the pitcher, number two batter. I mentioned that this is uh, his dad is coaching first base, Frank McAllister played in the Pony League World Series here in Washington back in 1998, and he was the batting champion that year. Now Santos, and the second pitch of the game. Inside ball one. McAllister, who's a store manager for Sprint. Chopper, foul ball, first base side. Dave Barr, the third base coach, who managed Hagerstown in this Pony League World Series in 2015. He works for an engineering consulting company, Black & Veatch. One-one pitch. Strike call to the inside corner. Hagerstown had to go just 190 miles to get here. The team from Mexico, Took them about three and a half days to get here by bus. Santos ready with a one-two pitch. McAllister, the open stance. Pitch way outside. The winner of this game plays the defending champions from Chinese Taipei at five o'clock tomorrow. Santos, two-two pitch. Oh, a line shot just by the glove of pitcher Santos. 
Oh, very early on in this game, but a couple of good swings to start. Dylan Shoemaker, the leadoff man, hit one on a line to right center that was caught. This time it's Jake McAllister right up the middle and laced right past the starting pitcher, Santos. Might have just nicked the glove. Hard to tell. Balls it was such authority. Now Jacob Hill, the uh, Hagerstown catcher. A man aboard, one out in the top of the first inning. And the pitch inside ball one. Mark Edwards is our producer back at WJPA. Santos a check of the runner at first. Pitch is in there for a called strike one and one. Jeff Grable. The home plate umpire from Grove City, Ohio. Pitch apparently at the bottom of the strike zone. One ball, one strike. Variable is umpiring his 10th Pony League World Series. He's the crew chief. Pitch inside, spinning away from what looked like it was supposed to be a bending pitch. And Hill had to spin that right shoulder out of the way. Count two balls, one strike. Runner at first, McAllister. 2-1 pitch. Strike call to the outside corner. Looked like it was a slider breaking away. And the count is two and two. Shoemaker started the game, swung at the first pitch, fly to right, and McAllister with a base hit to center field. Two balls, two strikes on Jacob Hill. Runner going, called third strike, throw to second base. Out at second is McAllister. Strike out, throw him out, double play. Second baseman Saparo made the tag. Hagerstown, no runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The strikeout and then the caught stealing. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Unfortunately, we've gotten some bad news. To whom it may concern, due to budget shortfalls, the Panthers baseball program. Ballard softball. Vikings basketball. Woodlawn soccer. The Tigers basketball program. Is indefinitely suspended. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Every kid deserves a chance to play. The Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series is presented by Dick Sporting Goods, by the Washington County Tourism Promotion Agency, and by the Observer Publishing Company. Ready for the bottom of the first inning. Jake McAllister pitching for Arecibo. Some of the greatest memories of this year's World Series will be McAllister wears number 13. He's worn this number for a good bit of his young baseball career. Shaparo leading off center fielder. Figueroa the shortstop. Salas at third. Santos batting fourth. Pitching. Cruz catching in the number five slot. Core is batting sixth. And Trinidad in right field. Rivaro in left field. And Victor Alejandro Shaparo Jr. is at second base. Hagerstown defensively. Conroy, Burgunier, and Lewis left to right. Barr at third, Shoemaker the shortstop, Drummond at second, Josenhans at first, and Hill catching. 
I mentioned at the top of the first that Dave Barr works for uh, Black and & Veatch, and then Randy Gore just told me that his wife works for that same company. That's right. It's a national company, so I would surely assume they work in different offices, but I'll have to ask, uh, I'll have to ask my wife if she knows Dave Barr, or vice versa. I'll have to talk with Mr. Well, you're Barr. Saying, you're saying oh, Barr later. is commuting 190 miles for work? Well, they, they have... Um, they have meetings, you know, where okay. different offices have to travel, so it's certainly possible. All right, here is uh, Joshua Shaparo leading off against the right-hander McAllister. And a called strike. <laughs> oh, one pitch low and outside. Arecibo, first time appearing in the Pony League World Series. By the way, uh, teams from Puerto Rico have won seven Pony League World Series titles. Pitch inside, down and in to make it two balls and one strike. Victor Saparo Sr. is the third base coach. He gets a check from his right-handed batter, Chaparro. Senior Saparo. Oh. Running things, pitch outside, and the count's three and one. By the way, the manager of the Puerto Rican team is in the medical field. He works for a company that makes pacemakers. And count three and one. Bouncing ball to the shortstop. Shoemaker gliding towards second. And the throw to first was high, but caught by Josen Hans for the out. One down to the bottom of the first inning. No score. Arecibo and Hagerstown. Easy play for Shoemaker to get to the ball near second base, but then the high throw. Good job by the first baseman to make the play and get down to the bag before the runner got there. Batter runner got there. Now Figueroa. Shortstop. Pitchers outside ball one. The years that I've done the Pony League World Series, I've often wondered, your ages, uh, players ages 13 and 14, wondered how much of an advantage it is to have that left handed batter against a right handed pitcher, right handed batter against the left handed pitcher. Ball fouled away one and one. I guess it would depend on just how effective is that breaking ball uh, from a particular pitcher, that slider or, or a curveball. The dugout of Hagerstown has just told uh, Burgunier, the center fielder, to shift a little bit more into left center field with the left-handed batter Figueroa having just fouled the ball off to the left side. And the pitch misses two balls and one strike. And Burgunier was more over in the right center, but that one fastball was fouled dramatically off to the left side by this left-handed batter. 2-1 pitch. Ball. Three and one with third baseman Barr, Braden Barr, playing at the cutoff portion of the infield. Right fielder Fletcher Lewis was also realigned uh, farther away from the right field line, more so toward uh, straightaway right field. Strike called on the outside corner. Full count on Figueroa. No score in the bottom of the first inning. Arecibo against Hagerstown. Dick Sporting Goods logo on the uniforms provided for these players in the championship. There's a foul ball again, laced to the left field side of the ballpark. It's a great, great facility, Lou Hayes Pony Field. There are, there's a hill off to the left side where a lot of folks like to sit under umbrellas. Ball four. Pitch low and away, and Figueroa gets a base on balls. And then there's the cliff that's out behind the right field fence. You bring your lawn chair and sit out there and enjoy the festivities. And now Adrian Salos, third baseman, right-handed batter. Forty-first time that a team from Puerto Rico has played in the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. No score, throw to first base. Sidearm delivery by McAllister with his pickoff attempt. Hey, 
pretty good lead for Figueroa. And he's chased back, has to dive back in. I'm sure many of you that uh, follow baseball know that uh, for some time now, there's been the, uh, he'll get to that point in a moment. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Oh. A wild pitch back to the screen and Figueroa goes down to second base. Uh, it has long been a technique in baseball to have the dugout call pitch outs, step offs, throws to first base. And uh, so consequently, the catchers at pretty much every level of baseball have to uh, check into the dugout between each pitch. There's a swing and a miss, evidently. And going to third is Figueroa on a wild pitch. So back-to-back -back wild pitches, putting Figueroa at third with one out. Middle infielders playing back. 1-1 one, one pitch to Salas, called strike one and two. The uh, dugouts here at Lou Hayes Pony Field are directly behind home plate. They're not, uh, not up along the first and third base lines. Full windup for McAllister. 1-2 pitch, bouncer. Third base side of the mound. McAllister's got it to throw to first, out number two. And the runner, Figueroa, has to stay at third. McAllister looked like he, he might have slipped just a little bit as he came to field that batted ball off the third base side. Yes, yeah, slipped just a tad, but was able to uh, keep his balance and his composure and also recognize the runner at third, hold him there and get the out at first. Now Santos batting with a runner at third and two outs, no score, bottom of the first inning. Arecibo, Puerto Rico against Hagerstown, Maryland. And a called strike. Because of where the dugouts are, the catchers, if they have to look in to get the signs from the dugout, have to try to sneak around, have to look around the umpire. Hit. Strike call to the inside corner to make a 1-2. It's not just a turn of the head to either the first base or third base dugout. It's a turn of the head of about uh, 180 degrees. As Hill is doing here to find out what the pitch call is with the count 0-2, and, and McAllister winds and deals. And a foul ball off to the right into the woods. In the top of the inning, Hagerstown got a base hit, but there was a strikeout caught stealing that brought the top of the first to a close. Ready for another 0-2 pitch from McAllister. 0-2 pitch. Way behind the hitter, back to the screen, and sprinting for home, head first slide on the third wild pitch of the inning. Figueroa scores, and Arecibo has a 1-0 lead. And keep in mind that that particular wild pitch came on an 0-2 pitch. What's the common phrase, waste a pitch 0-2? Well, the first 0-2 pitch was fouled off. The second one went behind the batter. 1-0 Puerto Rico. And without the use of a hit, a walk and three wild pitches. One-two pitch. In, in, in the dirt, two balls, two strikes. Santos, the Arecibo pitcher against Hagerstown's McAllister. 2-2, two, two, good breaking ball, strike three. Well, that was a good bender right there. McAllister gets the strikeout to end the bottom of the first, but Arecibo, Puerto Rico, coming up with one run without a hit. The head first slide, Figueroa scoring the game's first run. one nothing. Puerto Rico leads after one. There's a place far from the city, yet just down the road where likes and shares mean more. It's in every bite, each performance, and every night, where the miles we ride together become the memories we share forever. We dream because they fought for it. We give because they worked for it. The American spirit lives here. I can feel it.
Arecibo Puerto Rico with a one nothing lead as they score a run in the bottom half of the first inning. And we're back at the Pony League World Series. Joe E. Brown, the former commissioner of Pony League Baseball, with his son Joe L. Brown, who's a former Pirates general manager. You see them greeting the Youngstown team before the Pony League World Series. And again, this event going on for years here in Washington County, Pennsylvania, the hometown of the Pony organization as the 2019 World Series is underway. Let's go back to the booth with, Lan uh, with uh, Lanny Frateri and Randy Gore. One nothing after one, Puerto Rico leading Hagerstown. Coverage of the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series 2019 edition. Brought to you on WJPA in Washington, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to listen mornings on WJPA for good friend Pete. I got the beat. Here's Braden Barr to lead off the top of the second. Barr, third baseman, who will be uh, attending Williamsport High School in Maryland starting in the fall. One ball pitch. Oh. Inside ball one. I don't know what the deal is about this number 99. Barr wears it for Hagerstown. Salas wears it for Arecibo. One ball pitch. Oh. Outside two. And oh, by the way, Barr, his birthday is not September 9th. That's not where it comes from. How about Sidney Crosby had his birthday earlier this week? There's a line shot into right field base hit on the 2-0 pitch. The right-handed batter bar goes the opposite way. And that'll bring up Fletcher Lewis, right fielder. Um, Braden Barr's birthday happens to be October 15th. Lewis. He's in the fifth spot of the batting order. That's not normally a spot that managers would go to the bunt. And a called strike on Lewis. Did not show bunt there. one nothing. Puerto Rico leads Hagerstown in the first game of the Pony League World Series. The winner of this game will take on Chinese Taipei tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Chinese Taipei, the defending champions. One strike pitch, swing and a miss on Lewis. The loser of this game will play the loser of our Second Friday game, game between Youngstown and Wasabi, Mexico. Home plate up by Jeff Rabel having a conversation with the uh, Puerto Rican dugout. Santos, the 0-2 pitch. Ball lifted to right field, moving towards right center as Trinidad to make the catch one away. Be a good time for, for us to tell you that uh, one of the things that uh, is forbidden in Pony League baseball, a hitter cannot step out of the batter's box. If he does, the umpire should assess a strike. Now the left-handed batter, Carter Conroy, who's Going to be attending North Hagerstown High School in the fall. One out, one out. Top of the second, one nothing. Arecibo leads. And the pitcher's high ball one. Tomorrow we'll get started at noon with Brownsville against Bay County. So make sure you trim your beard, bring the babies out. A lot of baseball between now and next Thursday. Here's a swing and a miss, one ball and one strike. Our second game tomorrow at 2.30, London representing Europe. Team from UK against Washington County. 1-1 one, one pitch, a swing and a miss, one and two. By the way, that London team has very few people that uh, happen to be very few players that happen to be from England. We've got about a half a dozen players that are from Japan. One ball, two strikes on Conroy. 
runner at first bar, not a very big lead. And a swing and a miss. Santos picks up his second strikeout of the game. One nothing Puerto Rico leads, and here's Josen Hands to step in. Kind of a searching swing on the part of Conroy. Josen Hands, right handed batter, first baseman. The state of Maryland has never won a Pony League World Series. There's a foul ball strike one. 14th appearance for a team from Hagerstown. Jeff Rabel, home plate umpire. He is a uh, pupil transportation consultant, owns his own company, Zebra Transportation. Oh, one pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 oh, 2. Uh, I mentioned that uh, Jeff is uh, from Grove City, Ohio. He's been here since about 10 o'clock this morning. He was here for the home run hitters comp competition, home run hitters competition, and the base running competition. 0 oh, 2 pitch from Santos. Called strike three. Out number three on the top of the second. Hagerstown, no runs on one hit, one left on base. Middle of the second inning. It is Puerto Rico, one, Maryland, nothing. We've been in your community since 1808. We've stood by your side covering the news of the day. We've been here for the important times in your life. We've celebrated with you. We're proud to have delivered the latest in local, regional, and national news in Washington, Green, and Southern Allegheny counties. We'll be here for the next phase of your life with our print and online editions. The Observer Reporter, life delivered daily. Pony League World Series. The Meadows Casino and Racetrack where you can find live harness racing and also right across the road from the Casino and Racetrack here in Washington County you can shop at Tanger Outlets with over 80 name brand outlet stores. Plenty to do in Washington County, Western Pennsylvania. Arecibo, Puerto Rico trying to increase its lead as the Puerto Rican team will come to bat here in the bottom of the second, it's one nothing. Let's go back to Lanny Frateri and Randy Gore. Ready for the bottom of the second. Puerto Rico leads one to nothing. Randy, this is my 51st year in broadcasting, and tonight, first time ever okay. in my 51 years that I've worked a broadcast with a relative. My Grandson Spencer is our stage manager for uh, the broadcast tonight and will for all of our broadcasts right through next Thursday. Well, a wonderful occasion. And for the folks uh, watching in right now, they can see him and we can see us. So, hello out there. Real proud of him. I have two uh, grandchildren from, from Ohio, uh, Spencer and his sister Carly, and then I have a grandson who lives in Pittsburgh, Gus who's one year old. Okay, bottom of the second as Samuel Cruz leads off. And another pitch that is thrown, oh, about three feet behind the hitter. That uh, we saw a wild pitch that led to the game's only run in the first inning. Well, you talked about the breaking ball and how effective it may be for a pitcher in terms of lefty-righty matchups. Well, right now, it seems like that breaking yeah, ball, yeah, McAllister's yeah. not getting a good feel for it at this point early in the contest. And McAllister rocks into the one-ball pitch. Ball. And this one is high and outside. Boy, is uh, catcher Hill being challenged in this game, throwing his left hand wide to the left and wide to the right. And McAllister's two ball pitch oh. is down low, one nothing. Arecibo leads Hagerstown. Dave Barr, manager of Hagerstown, watching his starting pitcher fighting his control. 
Ball four. Ball four. Lead off walk to Cruz. And the pitch is not even close. A walk and three wild pitches. Accounting for the one nothing Arecibo lead. Now Joel Core, first baseman. Pitch low and outside, ball one. And now Dave Barr going to come out for a pitching visit, trying to work with his young hurler here, Jake McAllister, as we have discussed, uh, having some trouble with his command. As uh, immediately here, we have a right hander loosening in the Hagerstown bullpen as well. So to uh, give Eli Fleming an opportunity to loosen up. In fact, uh, We're going to get a pitching change here yeah. uh, to Washington, Pennsylvania for the team from uh, from Arecibo uh, flying out of San Juan and then uh, going to Orlando and then to uh, Pittsburgh. So Fleming is coming on. Now we'll have some changes along the infield as well. Uh, Barr. Is going to move to first base. Ian Fleming. No, excuse me. I'm sorry. Eli Fleming. Oh, I might have said Ian. If I did, my <laughs> apologize. No, 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 apologies. no. I just, I just. Uh, ever since I looked at the roster and saw his name last night, that's that's the first thing that that uh, popped into my mind. Uh, not, it's not Ian Fleming. It's Eli Fleming. Okay, so uh, uh, Braden Barr from third to first base. And Hill's going to third, right? And we're getting caught up on some of these changes as we speak. And McAllister working one inning plus, one nothing Puerto Rico leads. So indeed, Jacob Hill at third. Spencer, how many pitches did you have for, for whom? 20, 27 for McAllister unofficially. And that means that uh, uh, McAllister would need one day's rest before he could come back. Shoemaker is catching. And Shoemaker, Shoemaker is now catching, so the former shortstop now behind the plate. All right, let's set the defense for you again. The outfield is Conroy in left, Burgunia in center, Lewis in right, Hill the third baseman, McAllister at shortstop, Drummond stays on at second, Barr takes over at first, and Shoemaker's catching. And that brings up Core against the new pitcher. So McAllister faced five batters. He retired three of five, but he walked two and threw three wild pitches. Hit. Breaking ball in there for a called strike from Eli Fleming. And a throw to first base. Cloud of dust and a hearty high o silver. One ball, one strike on core. Takes a good long look at manager Saparo at third. One one pitch. Hit. Strike called on the outside corner. According to Jeff Rabel, right on that outside part of the plate. And a count of one and two with a runner at first, nobody out, bottom of the second. 
The pitch outside, but Core fouls the ball out of play. And the cap remains one ball, two strikes, one nothing. Arecibo Puerto Rico leads Hankerstown, Maryland. Jake McAllister, not playing short. Jacob Hill at third. Ray Bard, first base. One-two pitch. Ground ball to short. Up with it, McAllister to short to second for one on the first and a wide throw from second baseman Drummond. So just the out at second base. As sharply as that ball was hit when it first came off the aluminum bat, you're thinking double play, but just the out at second, Cruz erased and Coors safe at first. That convenient hop there for McAllister, but the uh, throw off target from the second baseman, Octavius Drummond. And clearly, had the throw been on mark to first base, it would have been a double play, but by baseball rules, you cannot presuppose the double play, so no error there. Ground ball to the right side by the left-handed batter into right field for a base hit. Trinidad single. Bobbled by Lewis in right field. Throw to third. Runner safe at third. And safe at second is Trinidad. On a single and an E9. Second and third for Arecibo with one out. Now things kind of unraveling here for Hagerstown defensively as the ball booted by Fletcher Lewis and right, and then after that, because the air allowing Foray to third, he applies the throw in that direction, which allows Trinidad to then run up and take second. Left-handed batter here, foul ball by Rivera. Left-handed batter, runners at second and third, one out. And Hagerstown playing its middle infielders back, ready to concede a run to get the second out of the inning. Yeah, a couple of bad things happened there for Hagerstown. The error allowed the runner to go to third and force the throw to third. Pitch is high one and one. And then because the throw did go to third base, Trinidad took the extra 90 feet, got to second, and that takes away the possibility of the double play. And we had a possible double play earlier in this half inning. 1-1 one, one pitch Ball. is down low. Yeah, a couple of, yeah, three things in this inning that no, four, counting the walk, that have gone awry for Porter for uh, Hagerstown. 2-1 pitch. Yes! And it's a swing on an inside pitch. And the count is 2-2 two and two on the left-handed batter, Rivera. He was really tied up by the pitch. From a full windup, Fleming's 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. Rivera becomes the second out of the inning. Runners at second and third. That could turn out to be a big second out. Runners at second and third, two out. Now Victor Alejandro Saparo, left-handed batter, second baseman. Strike call on the outside corner. That pitch framed well by catcher Shoemaker. Shoemaker drops one finger. It usually indicates fastball. And a fastball that is fouled back. And the count is no balls and two strikes. Runners at second and third. one nothing. Arecibo leads. Fastball signaled again. Pitch in, swing and a miss, strike three. Fleming turns out to be a Hagerstown version of Dr. No. Arecibo, no runs. One hit, there was an error. And two left in scoring position at the end of two. Puerto Rico one, Hagerstown nothing. They play in all corners of the world. Boys and girls each learning the true value that only teamwork, competition, and sportsmanship can provide. Each year, more than 500,000 participants of all ages proudly represent Pony on baseball and softball diamonds of all sizes. Everyone deserves a chance to learn and play the game. They're our players today. 
They'll be our leaders in the future. Pony, making a difference in your neighborhood and all over our world. What are we playing to this time? How about a game of MVP? 415 to right field. Right field with the Kirk Gibson trot. Seat 15. That's an M. Dodger dogs all day. Woo! Extra kraut, please. Foul pull. That looks like a V. All tied up. Looks like I win MVP again. Let's run it back. Nothing Puerto Rico leads, ready to call the middle three innings for you, Randy Gore. Thank you so much, Lanny is uh, in the top of the third with Arecibo leading one to nothing. Octavius Drummond will start things off for Hagerstown. Also do up Coleman Bragunier and Dylan Shoemaker. Right-handed hitting Octavius Drummond. Yes, he did! With a swinging bunt attempt, and he comes up empty for strike one against Yoaniel Santos, the starting pitcher for Puerto Rico today. Yeah, she squared up to Bunn and then took a little swinging stab with it, but still could not make contact. This time a full swing and a foul tip into the glove of catcher Samuel Cruz for strike two. Three strikeouts already for Santos, and he has an opportunity to collect another one right here. 0-2 though, plunks Drummond right on the back and a gift base runner for Hagerstown, leadoff man aboard. What is it about these, these 0-2 wild, these, they, you're supposed to waste a pitch 0-2. <laughs> we, saw, we saw earlier in the game, and McAllister fire one behind, or threw two pitches behind hitters. It's the wrong idea, the waste pitch here, as Coleman Bragunier steps in. Runner at first, Whoa, nobody no, out. He tries to bunt, but pulls back in time, says Jeff Rabel, our home plate umpire. Said, no, he didn't, and it's ball one. Quick check of the signs with field manager Dave Barr at the third base coaching area. One ball and no strikes to the count. And now Santos given the ready for play sign from Jeff Rabel, third baseman. Playing in is a bunt attempt. Did that Go flip the first. batter? Yeah, it did. It hits the batter, Coleman Bragunier. And back to back hit batsman. Two on, nobody out for Hagerstown at the top of the third. Oh, wow. Another look at it. Appeared as if to hit the bat and then the batter on the bunt attempt. But of course, we don't have the luxury of replay here as the manager for Arecibo, Victor Sapero Sr., going to come out and uh, ask about the call. He felt that it was bunted or at least made contact with the bat first, and uh, video evidence would suggest that that was the case. But again, we do not have instant replay here. I mean, that is it's not used to determine the outcomes of calls. Correct. We, we have replay. We can, we can see the replay, but it's not used to make any decisions. By the way, that was Angel Perez that, that came out to uh, talk to the home plate umpire. And now, and we'll now the manager visit. goes out to go to the hill. So now Victor Sapero Sr. out to check on things. Another look at it. For the folks watching our TV feed and uh, running in on the hands. And again, it is credited as a hit batsman. So back to back hit by pitches start this inning. So Drummond to second, Bragunier at first, and Hagerstown, who had given up some free gifts to Arecibo in the first inning, a walk in three straight wild pit. Well, not three straight, but three wild pitches that soon followed, allowing. Genzel Figueroa to score. And that's the only run of the game. Hagerstown able to pitch out of a jam in the bottom of the second with some self-inflicted wounds occurring. So now it's Puerto Rico with some self-inflicted wounds. We'll see how they respond. Is back to the top of the order with Dylan Shoemaker. And is the bun in order here? 
Nope. Swinging away, ground ball in the hole. Sliding play at short by Figueroa. He'll throw to third, and safe is the call. Drummond beats it out, and everybody is safe. Bases loaded, nobody out of the third. one nothing Arecibo, but Hagerstown threatening. The fielder's choice allowing Shoemaker to reach as the throw from Figueroa went to third. And now the infield playing up for Puerto Rico. Arecibo leading 1-0, but clinging to that lead at the moment. Jake McAllister, who singled his first time, goes after the first pitch here and comes up empty on a fastball. Big rip. one nothing, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Hagerstown with Easily its best threat of the game. First time they've had runners in scoring position today. Ball popped up and out of play. Nothing in two on McAllister. By the way, I don't think that Figueroa made the wrong decision going to third. I think it was just a case that Drummond did a great job of getting that secondary lead and scooting into third base ahead of the throw. O2 coming to McAllister, and he swings and misses, strike three. And a huge first out for Puerto Rico. And catcher Cruz gave the sign, fastball up and out, and then stood up. I'm not saying he was a little bit out of his crouch. He was standing up to take that high fastball and get the strikeout. The high heat was coming, and yet McAllister cannot refrain from chasing. Jacob Hill rips a liner into left center field, and that's going to roll toward the warning track. One in, trying to clear the bases, and he will. Jacob Hill with a three-run double, and Hagerstown is pulled ahead three to one in the third. Ripped into the gap, and it moved all the way to the fence, and with the bases juiced, Hagerstown cashes in. Three RBI double for Jacob Hill, brings up Braden Barr, who singled in the second. And Barr on a fastball waves and misses strike one. Jacob Hill, John Hill, his brother played in the Pony League World Series two years ago. Oh, one fly ball to right. Trinidad will come in to make the catch in shallow right field. Two away in the top of the third. 3-1 Hagerstown in front now. By the way, I don't believe that there's anything like, that, that there's no such thing as momentum in baseball, in my opinion. And yet, look what transpired just when uh, Arecibo was set to had its lead in the top of the second back to back strikeouts recorded by Fleming and now the spin the other way with Hagerstown taking the lead. Yoaniel <laughs> Santos proves in a fastball against Fletcher Lewis for strike one. And the strong pitching by Eli Fleming. A half inning ago and that has spurred on the bats now in this top of the third foul ball out of play by Fletcher Lewis behind Owen two. Now the older brother uh, John Hill of Jacob that you mentioned John Hill playing for the Hagerstown squad in 2017 now a sophomore at St. Maria Goretti High School. Hill leads off of second with two outs top of the third pitch up and away to right handed hitting Fletcher Lewis one and two. 39 pitches so far for Ioanni El Santos. Hagerstown leading by two in the top of the third. Santos ready with the signs from catcher Cruz. On the one two pitch, way inside is leaning out of the way was Lewis. Kind of hopping out of the way. Two balls and two strikes the count. Hagerstown, the 14th appearance in the Pony League World Series, third most of any one city in the world. 
Foul ball straight back as Lewis continues to battle with Santos. Two and two, the count remains. Hager's down three. Arecibo, Puerto Rico, one. And Hagerstown, they have never won a Pony League World Series championship. One title game appearance that came back in 1995. 2-2 again from Santos. Ground ball pulled foul up the third base line. Foul call from third base umpire Pat Carty. And when Hagerstown reached the Pony League World Series championship back in 1995, the team that defeated them for the championship was Bayamon, Puerto Rico, by an 11-2 decision. Now here it's Arecibo, Puerto Rico, battling Hagerstown in the opener of the 2019 Pony League World Series. But Hagerstown with a 3-1 lead. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. That'll end the third, but Hagerstown with a three-run double by Jacob Hill, turning the tables in the middle innings. We head to the bottom of the third. Your score, Hagerstown three, Arecibo, Puerto Rico one. Kick off the fall season at the EQT Washington and Greene County's Covered Bridge Festival, September 21st and 22nd. Explore 10 different scenic Covered Bridge locations and an array of activities from craft and food vendors, historical reenactments, entertainment, and more. Break away from the everyday. Take a deep breath and dream here. Unplug, unwind, and just be here. Plan your trip today at visitwashingtoncountypa.com. The American spirit lives here. Greats that have appeared here at the Pony League World Series, Pirates Hall of Famer, Paul Wayner. Primarily an outfielder for the Bucks. You see him there in yellow. Also, Don Zimmer, longtime Major League Manager, manager of the Cubs and the Red Sox. And of course, Tommy Lasorda. He skippered the Dodgers to their last World Series championship back in 1988. You see Tommy Lasorda right there signing autographs. So an illustrious history of the Pony League World Series and the 2019 event underway here in Washington, Pennsylvania. As Hagerstown now has the lead in game number one. Let's go back to Lanny Frateri and Randy Gore in the broadcast booth. Back at Lou Hayes Pony Field, Hagerstown holding a 3-1 lead over Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Joshua Chaparro, Genzel Figueroa, and Adrian Salas due up for Puerto Rico in the spot of the third. Uh, we are uh, seeing a, a shot on our uh, live our video streaming of, of a young lady holding a sign that says number 15, my boy. That must be, those must be the parents of Jacob Hill. Proud parents indeed right now. Three run double in the top of the third, which has Hagerstown with the lead for the first time today. Joshua Chaparro leading off. Hit. Strike one delivered from Eli Fleming. And this game started with Jake McAllister on the mound for Hagerstown. Was unable to uh, get a good feel for his breaking ball. And a early move made. Ball. Next pitch a ball, one and one, the count on Shaparo. An early call made by manager Dave Barr of Hagerstown to go to the bullpen, and that has seemingly paid off so far. Shaparo on the one one ball. pitch. Off the outside quarter, two balls and a strike. Chris Moran and Ryan Guthrie, our audio guys, we, we could just sit back and let <laughs> Jeff Rabel call it for us because Jeff is mic'd by our audio crew. 2-1, roller on the right side to his left, scooped up by Octavius Drummond, throw to first, one away in the bottom of the third. Genzel Figueroa, he walked and scored in the first, came across after his walk, three wild pitches. At the time put Puerto Rico ahead, one nothing, but right now it's 3-1 Hagerstown, one out, nobody on for Puerto Rico, Figueroa, with a third baseman, Jacob Hill, playing in on the third base grass. First pitch a strike from Eli Fleming. 
Glad to have you with us. And a variety of media outlets. 1450 WJPA AM. The longtime home of the Pony League World Series on the radio. Strike on Figueroa. Quickly nothing in two. Also MLB.com, Pikewood Sports. Fastball high. Trying to get Figueroa to chase, but that one was way up over his head. What did two? Kick and the offering from Fleming. Fly ball shallow left. That's going to drop in for a base hit. On one hop in front of Carter Conroy and a one out single for Figueroa in the bottom of the third. And yeah, let's send it out a, a shout out to our good friend Mark Uriah, who is the voice of the Pony League World Series. He's on injured reserve right now. Mark, we're thinking about you and miss you. That's a lot different uh, with Mark not here, that's for sure. A longtime voice of the Pony League World Series, and uh, we we'll look forward to having him back at WJPA soon. Has to rest up for the high school football season. Pickoff throw to check on Figueroa. He is back sliding in safely. Figueroa back in the first inning when he was on the base paths. Had a huge lead at first in his mimic back again as he takes off on the pitch to the plate. Swing and a miss, throw into second. Trickles off the glove of Drummond and in the shallow right center field. It's a stolen base for Figueroa. Runner in scoring position. I wonder if there was confusion there about who was supposed to cover because Neither the shortstop nor the second baseman had gotten to the bag. Adrian Salas on the 0 1 lines it into the right center field gap, and that's going to roll for a while as well. Eventually cut off by Fletcher Lewis, but coming around to score is Figueroa, and Puerto Rico has cut the Hagerstown lead to 3 to 2 on the RBI double by Adrian Salas. Second baseman uh, Drummond was uh, over towards second, trying to keep the runner at second close, but even if Drummond had been in his normal position, wouldn't have had a chance to get that looping liner into right center field. One out, bottom of the third, Yoaniel Santos, who's 0 for 1 with a strikeout looking. Right handed hitter and today's starting pitcher oh. for Arecibo Puerto Rico takes a breaking ball up for ball one. On a picturesque evening here in Washington, PA, not much wind to speak of. 77 degrees to start today in the Puerto Rico dugout getting vocal as they should here with one run across already. In this bottom of the third, next pitch outside, 2 0. And now we have time called. Is Dave Barr going to come out and make another move to the mound, at least? Eli Fleming a little frustrated. We'll see if we have another pitching change. Fleming's demeanor seemed to maybe give that uh, a possibility. Although Dave Barr has not uh, made such indications just yet. Our second game tonight, Youngstown against Guasave, Mexico. And the uh, winner of this game will play Chinese Taipei at 5 tomorrow. Chinese Taipei, the defending champions. The loser of this game plays the loser of the Youngstown Guasave ball game. Eli Fleming will remain in the contest with Salas at second, one out. 2-0 count on Santos, and he rips the 2-0 pitch to deep left field. Conroy looks up. That ball is way gone over the video board at left center, and Arecibo, Puerto Rico, has jumped ahead 4-3. Now that is run support for the starting pitcher. He gives it all by his lonesome. Yoani El Santos puts he and Puerto Rico ahead by one. An absolute shot to left center. 
First home run of the 2019 Pony League World Series as well. Game one of the World Series here tonight. Breaking ball from Fleming to Samuel Cruz is strike one. Now this game has already had a topsy-turvy nature. Fastball outside from Fleming. Two balls and no, excuse me, one ball and one strike. One out, base is cleared thanks to the two-run shot by Santos. Ball. Off the plate again to the right-handed hitting Samuel Cruz. Four three Puerto Rico. One out bottom of the third. Curveball beautifully dropped in for a strike by Fleming. Arecibo has the 2-2, two -two. swung on and missed for strike three, two outs. Third strikeout for Eli Fleming. Arecibo went four and two in the zone tournament, the Caribbean Championship Tournament. Started 0-2 in pool play, but rallied to win four straight games and claim the zone title. So they are on a roll entering the Pony League World Series as Joel Corey drives one to deep left center, and that one is gone. Over the center field fence, Corey, and it's 5-3, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Two home runs in this third. And this time, Corey hammers one over the center field wall. Well, last season, the Caribbean Zone champion was uh, Aguate Dominican Republic, and they displayed major muscle. So Arecibo this year picking up where Aguate left off. First pitch swing, Derek Trinidad pops it up, shortstop. Jake McAllister makes the catch in front of the second base bag to end the inning. But Arecibo, Puerto Rico with four runs, including two home runs. And your score after three innings, it's Arecibo, Puerto Rico, five, Hagerstown, Maryland, three. Mi padre me enseñó este juego. Y mi hermana me inspiró a conquistarlo. Pero mientras desarrollaba mis habilidades, yo definía mi estilo. Le daba homenaje a mi casa. Yo encontré mi voz en medio de la magia del juego. They call me a mago, the magician. Call me what you want. I just want to play. Through three innings of play, Arecibo, Puerto Rico, holding a 5-3 lead over Hagerstown, Maryland. And great to have you along here from Lou Hayes Pody Field. And for the folks watching, a celebratory bunch from Puerto Rico enjoying the trip here and uh, what they've seen so far. A lot of scoring in that third inning. Three runs on the top of the third by Hagerstown. All provided on one swing, a three-run double by Jacob Hill. But Arecibo, Puerto Rico, answering with four runs of their own in the bottom of the third. RBI double by Adrian Salas, a two-run homer by Ioana El Santos, and a solo homer by Joel Corre. And that has Puerto Rico up by two now as we start at the top of the fourth. Carter Conroy 0 for 1. He struck out swinging in the second inning.
Conroy takes a fastball from Yoani El Santos that is high for ball one. Hagerstown winning the East Zone Championship Tournament, going three and one in tournament play. Offering a strike to left-handed hitting Conroy, one ball, one strike. And doing so by defeating Chesterfield, Virginia in the championship of the East Zone Tournament, seven to three. Carter Conroy had a big tournament. Swings and misses here to fall behind one and two. Conroy posted a 462 average during the East Zone Tournament. And he leads off the top of the fourth on the one two from Santos. A ground ball in play. No, it's a foul ball off the body. It was still played by Santos, but home plate umpire Jeff Rabel has signaled foul ball. So Conroy will continue the at bat. That certainly appeared to be the case from my vantage point here in the press box. And Dave Barr just getting a quick explanation to make sure it was a foul ball. And Jeff Rabel obliges that that was the case. Foul ball, continue the at bat. Trying to reach out on a breaking ball, got a piece of it, and then the foul ball got a piece of him. One, two. Ground ball through the right side of the infield for a base hit. Lead off single for Carter Conroy. So Conroy, to some degree, you could say given a second chance there, but uh, on the one two, able to push that one through the right side and a leadoff runner aboard for Hagerstown. It's the third straight inning now. Hagerstown has had the leadoff batter reach. Eli Fleming will bat for the first time today. Entered the game in relief in the second inning. And the seventh spot of the batting order. Right-handed hitter Fleming swings and misses. Strike one. Oh, one pitch. Looked at for a strike. And we've got action in the Hagerstown bullpen again, although Fleming touched up in the uh, last half inning, remains in the game to bat. 0-2, oh, just off the plate. The Puerto Rico dugout wanted the strikeout call. They won't get it. It's uh, Jacob Hill loosening up. So maybe a case of where we have some position swapping when we get to the next half inning, where Hill may enter on the mound. Maybe he'll remain in the game as he actually started this game at the catcher spot, but we'll see where we go when we get to the bottom of the fourth. One, two, foul back to the backstop by Eli Fleming. Here at Lou Hayes Pony Field, the most of the infield under shade. Right field, right center, parts of center field under shade, and left field under sunshine. Fastball outside to Eli Fleming, two balls and two strikes. So a challenge for anyone playing left field at the moment. Right now it's Jeremy Rivera out there for Puerto Rico, having to uh, fight in the sun for any fly ball set out in that direction. Runner at first, nobody out top of the fourth. A 5-3 lead for Puerto Rico, and another foul ball by Fleming, battling it back continues. Fleming, 5'10", 152-pounder. Conroy at first, modest lead in that direction. Another 2-2 pitch to Fleming. Outside again. Not missing by much. But the count has run full. That breaking ball tailing away and off the plate. And now the payoff from Ioanni El Santos, again wasted by Eli Fleming. Arecibo, Puerto Rico holding a 5-3 lead over Hagerstown, Maryland, as we've had a seesaw contest in the opener here at the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Winner of this will take on 
Chinese Taipei tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Fastball high, and it is ball four. Two on now for Hagerston. So Eli Fleming able to work the walk. Puts two on in front of Octavius Drummond, who was hit by a pitch in the third inning. Also came around to score later on in that third. Corner infielders pinching, expecting a butt, and a beautiful butt laid down. That's going to roll past the mound, and eventually fielded by the third baseman, Salas, out toward the shortstop position as shortstop Figueroa was over toward third, covering the bag. A beautiful bunt single, and the bases are loaded. Well, you're right about it being a dandy. Uh, you're supposed to bunt the ball towards the left side of the mound when there are runners at first and second. Third baseman has been charging. The pitcher didn't get off the mound particularly well, and now the table is set for Hagerstown. So better than a sack bunt. It's a bunt for a base hit. Bases loaded for Hagerstown. Coleman Bragunier hit by a pitch. He was hit the last time, or what do we have here? Now, Jeff Rabel going to talk things over with his uh, first base umpire, Dave Smolko. Now, did that hit the knob of the bat or the hand, or both? Coleman Bragunier going to get checked on by his coaching staff. The right handed hitter trying to load up on the swing. He caught it apparently on the left hand or left wrist. But we'll see what Jeff Rabel has, uh, has ruled. It will be a hit batsman and a run across for Hagerstown, Maryland. So Drummond to second, Fleming to third, Conroy scores on the bases loaded hit batsman, and it's a 5-4 game. And Sincere Kelly is the pinch runner at first base. So a one-run lead for Puerto Rico now. And again, that is double zero, Sincere Kelly in to run for Bragunier. In the meantime, a meeting on the mound with Arecibo manager Victor Sapero Sr. Oh, he said this has been a seesaw fair here, especially in the middle innings, and that has continued now in this top of the fourth. And Hagerstown still with nobody out of the bases loaded. So Sincere Kelly again in to run for Bragunier at first base. Drummond to second, Fleming to third. To the top of the order with Dylan Shoemaker. We talked a uh, short time ago about the East Zone Championship Tournament. Dylan Shoemaker hit 546 in that zone tournament as he takes inside, spinning out of the way of the offering. Ball one. Nearly another hit by pitch as Puerto Rico sending uh, a protector a catcher and a potential reliever out to uh, loosen but the they need some how they need some helmets out there uh, by rule and uh, Jeff Rabel indicating that is the uh, protector going back for uh, for a, a helmet. And play will be halted until that is taken care of. First and foremost comes safety. Now that helmet has been donned and uh, will continue on. So again, it's Dylan Shoemaker who hit 545 in the East Zone Championship Tournament. And he has the bases loaded here with Hagerstown down by one in the fourth inning. Nobody out. 1-0 pitch. Shoemaker fouls it off. Look how shallow. Shaparo is in center field. Extremely shallow. Shoemaker on the 1-1. One, one. 
taps it foul up the third baseline. You could take and draw a line from the left fielder through the body of the center fielder to the right. But it would be a straight line in light of the fact that Chaparro, the center fielder, is playing so shallow. Keep that in mind should there be a base hit to center and should Drummond at second try to score. Infield playing in. One two pitch fastball outside as Shoemaker refrains from chasing. Hagerstown cashed in with the bases loaded in the third inning with a Jacob Hill three run double. Joshua Shaparo as Lanny pointed out shallow in center as the two two in the dirt. Count full. On Dylan Shoemaker, no place to put him with the bases loaded. Five four, Arecibo, Puerto Rico, clinging to a one-run lead. Payoff pitch and a liner narrowly evaded by the runner, Sincere Kelly, and into right field for a base hit. One run in, and another comes around to score. Sliding in safely is Drummond, beating the throw home from right fielder Derek Trinidad and Hagerstown has leapfrogged in front six to five. Two run single by Dylan Shoemaker and runners at the quarters in this top of the fourth with nobody out. Ioanni El Santos hit around here in this fourth inning. Now it's Jake McAllister who strides to the plate. Three runs in so far in this fourth. And another visit from Victor Sapero Sr. So that'll be it, second visit of the inning. So that'll be it for Ioanni El Santos. There's a pitching change coming for Arecibo, Puerto Rico. So a round of applause for Santos from the fans from Puerto Rico that have made the trip. And we'll see some changes here for Puerto Rico. This is just day one of the uh, Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Uh, Champions League game tomorrow at 930 and uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates will be here on uh, Sunday members of the Pirates alumni will will be on hand mascot night is Monday night military appreciation first responders night is Tuesday night don't forget the championship game of this year's Pony League World Series slated for Thursday 7 o'clock Thursday August the 15th. Jeremy Rivera has begun warming up on the mound, so he will come in from left field to pitch, Jeremy Rivera. Santos headed back out to the field. We'll see what position he'll go to. Yesterday, the uh, Fan Fest at Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, the Pirate Parrot was there, uh, Joe Klimchak, and members of the Bucko Brigade, and. Uh, Couple of pirates on hand last night at Dick's Sporting Goods. An opportunity for some of the teams to get to meet one another. Uh, the uh, team from Simi Valley didn't get in until late last night. Uh, Simi Valley has a uh, a break in the schedule, and then it would want not play its first game until until Sunday. It's going to be a straight swap. So Jeremy Rivera from left to the pitcher's mound, and Yoani El Santos from the mound now out to left field. So that keeps things nice and tidy for the time being. And so Rivera will try to limit the damage here for Arecibo as it's been a three run top of the fourth thus far for Hagerstown and still in position to add on more with Sincere Kelly at third base, still in Shoemaker at first and nobody out. A team from Japan uh, touring this area uh, in, uh, not in, con in uh, conjunction with but in concert with in that uh, the uh, Pony Friendship Series with uh, 44 young players from Japan 
five days of activity. Thank you, Michael. Well, so much involved with uh, this Pony League World Series event, and uh, we certainly enjoy seeing and, and getting to meet so many different folks. And so uh, a team from Japan out to get in some baseball time here in Washington, PA, in the general vicinity. All right, now it's Hagerstown and Arecibo, Puerto Rico dueling in the first game of the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series 2019. Jake McAllister batting with runners of the corners. Lefty Jeremy Rivera, first pitch, sky to right. Derek Trinidad camps underneath it. He'll make the catch, tagging from third is Sincere Kelly. He'll score standing up. And the sacrifice fly by McAllister adds on for Hagerstown. Seven to five, Hagerstown with the lead. Well, new pitcher in, able to make some good contact, drive it opposite way to right. Not much doubt that the speedy, sincere Kelly would score. And he does cross the pay station. So four runs now in, in this fourth. Runner from first, breaks, pitch a called ball to Jacob Hill and a stolen base for Dylan Shoemaker. So Shoemaker in scoring position and Hagerstown trying to keep the pedal to the metal here in this fourth inning with Puerto Rico reeling a bit and utilizing the speed of Shoemaker right here. As he slid into second base, the bag kicked up. So our second base umpire, Jeff DeCellis, will help situate that. We've seen that happen a couple of times early on in this uh, game today. And Jeff DeCellis, it appears he has that all settled now at second base. So again, Shoemaker at second, two outs here at the top of the fourth, 7-5 Hagerstown. Left-hander Jeremy Rivera. First man in relief for Puerto Rico. With a 1-0 count on Jacob Hill, pumps it a fastball for a strike. From the stretch, stare down to the runner at second, Shoemaker. Double takes, does Rivera. Brings to the plate, fastball low and in toward the feet of Hill, 2-1. Hagerstown, seven runs on six hits, one error. Arecibo, Puerto Rico, five runs on five hits and no errors. We are in the top of the fourth. Long pause once again from Rivera and the double take of the runner. Deals to the plate, driven through the right side of the infield for a base hit. Trinidad comes up with it. He'll throw to the infield. His throw home is not in time. Sliding in safely. Shoemaker, 8-5 Hagerstown leading Puerto Rico. And Jacob Hill, four RBI day so far. Had a three-run double in the third, and this two-out RBI single driving home Shoemaker. Eight runs charged to Santos, the starter. And the book now closed on him. As a bu busy half inning here for Victor Sapero Sr., the skipper for Puerto Rico, out to the mound again. As Rivera unable to get the outs necessary, or at least get the final out, he was able to obtain a Fly out to right by Jake McAllister a couple of batters ago, but that was still good for a sacrifice fly for Hagerstown. So now he'll turn to a right-hander in the form of Marcos Orocho. Third pitcher of the inning now for Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Oh, and I meant to... Uh... I meant to check with uh, the team from Puerto Rico, Arocho, 
wearing number 21. A number that you'd have to automatically connect, put in your head when you think about a young athlete, a young baseball player from Puerto Rico. The great Roberto Clemente, of course, donning number 21 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And perhaps a number uh, one day that may be retired across the board in Major League Baseball. Much like uh, the number 42 of Jackie Robinson. But Marco Sorocho for Puerto Rico. Wearing number 21 here and uh, trying to pick up a, a big out or a final out of this fourth inning. Try to keep uh, things within reason. Certainly Arecibo has shown the firepower to rally back from a three run deficit. But uh, you don't want this deficit to grow any further. Youngstown playing the second game of the of the day against Guasave Mexico. Braden Barr, Braden Barr takes low for a ball. By the way, we mentioned this earlier. Let me say it again. Braden Barr not related to the manager of Hagerstown, Dave Barr. Runner at first, swing and a miss. And just one out uh, in this inning. I may have, I believe I misspoke, said two outs of the inning. Well, only one out in this fourth. That was the sacrifice fly by Jake McAllister. So only one out of the frame. So still some work to do here for Orocho. Needs to come up with outs two and three. Eight to five, Hagerstown. Pitch an inside edge strike. One and two on Braden Barr. Five runs in for Hagerstown. But again, Arecibo has shown plenty of firepower in the early going of this game. So Orocho trying to keep this close. One two fastball. Painting the edge. And Braden Barr caught looking for strike three. There is the inning second out. And Braden Barr, his facial expression as he returned to the dugout, seemed to be pretty impressed with the heat and location of that fastball from Marco Sorocho. Runner at first, two outs now, swing and a miss. Pull the string on Fletcher Lewis for strike one. Lewis, the ninth batter of this fourth inning for Hangerson. Short lead at first for Hill is Joel Corey holding him now. The runner takes off, pitch inside for a ball throw into second. Well, the throw was in plenty of time, but the ball apparently popped out of the glove of Figueroa, or check that of Sapero rather, Victor Alejandro Sapera, and the runner is safe. Yep, indeed, the ball popped out of the glove on the tag attempt, thus allowing Jacob Hill the stolen base. I wonder if that was in intended to be a delayed steal or whether Hill just got a terrible jump. He had a short lead to start. There's no doubt about that. Pitch in the dirt now. Two and one on Fletcher. But take nothing away from the uh, performance that we've witnessed so far from Jacob Hill. Yeah, four RBIs, a double, a single, and now add a stolen base to his stat line. In scoring position for Fletcher Lewis. 8-5 Hagerstown up on Puerto Rico. Pitch in the dirt for a ball and taking off for third on the wild pitch. It's Jacob Hill, and he is in there safely. Yeah, no chance for Samuel Cruz. Good read by Hill. Yeah, he took off immediately as soon as that ball hit the dirt. Very aggressive and successful. 80 feet away from adding on another run. 3-1 pitch to Fletcher. Ball. It's outside for ball four, and Hagerstown is batted around. Third free pass of the inning by 
Arecibo pitchers. And Carter Conroy, who started this inning with a single, climbs into the batter's box next. Pickoff throw to check the runner, and they're safely diving head first is Fletcher Lewis. Runners in the corners, and Hagerstown has displayed aggressiveness on the bases, in particular in this fourth inning. We've seen two stolen bases. Breaking ball. That misses, ball one. Conroy, one for two with a single and a run scored. That base hit started this fourth inning, as we mentioned. Right-hander Marco Sorocho deals the 1-0, fastball high, 2-0. Hagerstown has pushed five runs across thus far in the top of the fourth. 2-0 pitch to Conroy is inside, and now Rocho having trouble finding the zone. He walked Lewis in 3-0 on Conroy. Eight to five, Hagerstown. Top of the fourth, 3-0 coming to Conroy. That's high for ball four. Bases loaded yet again for Hagerstown. So Hill remains at third. Lewis advances to second. Conroy now aboard, and catcher Samuel Cruz will come out to chat with Marco Sorocho. And joining in on that confab, it's Victor Sapero Sr., a skipper for Arecibo. Can't seem to find the, uh, to push the right button here to exit this fourth inning. Well, earlier on, we saw some footage uh, on the TV feed of last night's uh, Fan Fest event at Dick Sporting Goods in Washington, PA. And uh, a great opportunity for us to, to talk with some of the players and coaches, but also uh, a great opportunity as well for the players to, uh, to take part to, and uh, also just uh, get a feel for Washington, Pennsylvania. A lot of activities, the Pirate Parrot, and the Bucko Brigade is, uh, they'll be back here at Lou Hayes Pony Field as well tomorrow night, or excuse me, Sunday night rather, for Pirates Night. But a uh, great evening to start us off, Fan Fest last night. Now we're all underway. Here, game one of the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Bases loaded in the top of the fourth. First pitch from Orocho is strike one to Eli Fleming. Fleming earlier in this frame walked and scored a run. Bases loaded with two outs and eight five advantage for Hagerstown leading Puerto Rico. Breaking ball, not close, one and one. Orocho having trouble locating. He was able to pump in the fastball for strike one to Eli Fleming in this A-B. See if he goes back to the heater. Ball. He does, but it's off the plate to the right-handed hitter, two and one. Outside, two and one. Hagerstown back in the Pony League World Series. 2-1, that'll squirt through the legs of catcher Cruz, trying to score from third, and he will cross the pay station. Jacob Hill on a wild pitch. Nope, pass ball, the official ruling. Pass ball, allowing Hill to score. 9-5, Hagers down. Lewis to third, Conroy to second. Three-one called strike. Full count to Eli Fleming. 
Fleming when he came down off the mound after three innings was trailing 5 3. And now he's got a 9 5 lead. Orocho's payoff pitch, chopper on the right side. And that will be fielded by the second baseman, Sapero. He'll throw to first with Orocho, the pitcher covering to get the innings final out, but a huge inning crooked number put up at the top of the fourth by Hagerstown, Maryland. Six runs across, we head to the bottom of the fourth. Your score, Hagerstown, Maryland, nine. Arecibo, Puerto Rico, five. Make a Dunkin' run for a $2 pick-me-up and avoid the afternoon drag. Should've got one for John. Yeah, sorry, John. It's okay. Come in for a $2 medium latte or cappuccino from 2 to 6 p.m. America runs on Duncan. Hi, I'm Dylan Radigan. The world is brimming with possibilities. And that keeps me busy. My latest invention may be able to feed and sustain communities around the world. My team and I are always on the go, meeting new people and seeing new places. I produce films that I really care about. It's an honor to speak to audiences around the world. When people come together, meaningful work gets done. How do I do all this? Well, that part's easy. Hotelplanner.com. Some of the sites here in western Pennsylvania, the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and Historic Village. That's the site of the oldest evidence of human existence in North America and the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum nearby as well nearly 50 restored antique trolleys you can see it all here in washington county pennsylvania big inning for hagerstown maryland hagerstown now with a four-run lead as we return to the booth four. Back at Lou Hayes Pony Field, Hagerstown, Maryland, holding a 9-5 lead over Arecibo, Puerto Rico. And Sincere Kelly, who pinch ran for Coleman Bragunier in the fourth inning, top of the fourth. He will stay in the game to play center field for Bragunier. So he'll stay in that spot uh, in the batting order in that ninth spot and will continue uh, as now the new center fielder for Hagerstown, Maryland. That's the only change as we start the bottom of the fourth. They get a four-run lead for Hagerstown over Puerto Rico. Jeremy Rivera, his spot in the batting order. He was uh, in the contest as a reliever the last half inning, but now in the game, Marcos Orocho, who checked in a relief, will be leading off. So Marcos Orocho will get our first look at him at the plate today as he is in that eight spot in the batting order for Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Rivera was 0 for 1 prior with a strikeout. Right-hander Eli Fleming deals a curveball up and out of the zone, ball one. 9-5 Hagerstown, 1-0 pitch. Looked at for a strike on the outer edge by Orocho. Well, Arecibo, as Lanny mentioned earlier, making its first Pony League World Series appearance. It's the 41st overall for Puerto Rico. As a bounding ball, diving play made, and a good stop, but it's a foul ball for Jacob Hill. Great effort by Hill, but a foul ball ruled by the umpiring crew, and that was the correct call. I'm a bit surprised. It had always been my impression that the, the call was that of the home plate umpire until the ball got to the bag. This ball was stopped in front of third base. One, two. Ball. Low and away. Two I balls should, and two I strikes. I should point out that it, it may be that in pony baseball, the umpiring decisions are different than in Major League Baseball. Next pitch ball. from Fleming. Low and outside. Full count. Orocho leading off the bottom of the fourth. Puerto Rico trailing nine to five. Ball. Outside for ball four, leadoff walk. And if you're 
Hagerstown and manager Dave Barr. Not what you want to see after mm -hmm. your team just put up a six spot, a leadoff walk for Puerto Rico in the next half inning. Yeah, they, uh, even though these are 13 and 14 year olds, they should learn early in their baseball careers. Your team gives you a four run lead, throw strikes. Pitch low and outside, ball one to Victor Alejandro Sapero. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. You know when you when you walk a team when they're when when that team is trailing by three four five runs it's like uh, fouling a team uh, to stop the clock late in a in a basketball game. Pick off toss to check the runner Orocho back in safely. Hey do you think back to the first inning a one out walk to Figueroa and he scored later in the hey. inning on three wild pitches so Hagerstown his has uh, given up some freebies to Puerto Rico. And the other part, too, is Puerto Rico has shown good power. They've hit two home runs in this game already. So if you give up a home run now, well, obviously you have a runner at first base, but if it was a leadoff home run, per se, solo shots don't beat you when you're up big. But two run and three ball. run homers certainly change the complexion. Next pitch a ball, two and one. And so with that leadoff walk, it puts Sapero in a position, not to say that he is a home run hitter, but uh, puts Puerto Rico in general in position for a big inning. 2-1 bunt attempt, rolled up the first base line. Fleming stumbled a little bit in getting to the ball, but he's able to underhand flip to the first baseman, Braden Barr, in time to get Sapero. Sack bunt moves Orocho to second, one out. Bob, sacrifice? Yes. Sacrifice. Ron Faust, one of the best basketball coaches in Western Pennsylvania, is the official scorer at the Pony League World Series. Runner at second with a one away now in the bottom of the fourth. 9 5. Hagerstown with the advantage. First pitch strike to Joshua Shaparo. See, I, McAllister was was over by second base. I think in this situation with a four run lead, you should not give up your position. Especially with a right handed batter in the batter's box. 0 1. Ground ball pulled foul, third you know, base side. Just as you're, as a pitcher with a 4 1 lead, you're taught throw strikes. So it is defensively, you've got to be conservative. You should be conservative. Take the outs that they give you. So if, if, there's a, if the runner scores from second on this, or, or you're able to prevent the ball getting through the infield, th that only allows them to get the third possibly. So as I say, McAllister. In my opinion, shouldn't be so in a position to hold the second base there, and he isn't here. Oh, two, ground ball, and that'll get through the hole on the left side. Past the diving, McAllister is up and throwing. Carter Conroy, that'll keep the runner at third. Orocho at third after the single by Joshua Shaparo. Runners of the quarters, one out, bottom of the fourth for Puerto Rico, who trails it 9-5. And by the way, whether whether the shortstop McAllister was in his normal position or not, he's not going to handle that. It was just perfectly placed, that ground ball by Shaparo. And Dave Barr will make his way out to the field. And Fleming who left the uh, third inning trailing after uh, allowing four runs, was able to stay in the game on the mound after his teammates provided him six runs at the top of the fourth, but he is going to exit at least as far as the pitching mound is concerned. And we're going to see a new pitcher now for Hagerstown and right-hander Jacob Hill. So Hill will go from third base to the pitcher's mound now. And Fleming will remain in the game to play third base. So it will be a straight switch for Hagerstown. Hope you'll think about coming out to the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. We've got uh, three games tomorrow. The first one is at noon. Brownsville against Bay County, Michigan. 2.30 game, Washington County against London. And then at 5 o'clock tomorrow, It'll be the winner of this game against Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei 
the defending champions at the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. For nearly 25 years, the Pony League World Series has hosted a gathering of some of the very special kids who just love to play baseball and softball. So tomorrow morning, all of the World Series teams will gather here at Lou Hayes Pony Field, not to play themselves, but to assist, cheer, and encourage these Pony Champions League players and their families. That's tomorrow. Hope you'll make it a point to come out. By the way, I'm one person that believes one of the easiest way to get to this field is to take that jog down Interstate 79. You go 79, 70, and then like go like you're going to Morgantown and get off the first exit there. Or if you're coming from south, get off that uh, uh, Route 40 exit, turn west, and come on down the hill through Pancake. You'll see the signs and at the traffic light turn right into Washington Park. Yeah, I would agree that uh, once you get off the interstate, that is uh, certainly the simplest way in getting to Washington Park. Beautiful facility here at Lou Hayes Pony Field and uh, a lot of the youngsters enjoying the weather and some Kona ice as well. In the summertime, you see Kona ice at uh, plenty of ballparks around the way in this area. Genzel Figueroa batting. Left-handed hitter with runners at the quarters. And runner from first with a big break. Nobody covering second at a stolen base for Joshua Shaparo. Nobody home for Hagerstown at second. Jacob Hill, all he could do was pump fake towards second. It's an easy stolen bag for Shaparo. Ball. Offering low ball one to Genzel Figueroa. So Arecibo, Puerto Rico, trailing 9 5 to Hagerstown, Maryland, bottom of the fourth. They're trying to get back in it. Two in scoring position. 1 0, low and in to the left handed hitter. Two balls and no strikes to Figueroa. Arecibo, Puerto Rico, defeating Panama 8-7 in the Caribbean Zone Championship to earn the right here to Washington, PA. Pitch missing from Hill, 3-0 on Figueroa. First base is open. Two on, runners at second and third, one out. 3-0. Taking all the way, it's a strike. Puerto Rico as a country has done very well at the Pony League World Series. 3-1, low, ball four, bases loaded. Puerto Rico last represented in the Pony League World Series by Levittown back in 2017. As here's another look at the power of Arecibo, Puerto Rico back in the third inning, a two-run homer by Ioanni El Santos and later in the inning a solo homer by Joel Corre here with the bases loaded and one out wild pitch and trying to beat it out home and in there safely is Marcos Orocho 9-6 tripping the deficit to three Arecibo Puerto Rico and it is now officially a wild pitch that brings home Orocho and advances the runners as well to second and third. Hustling home, Marco Sorocho, Dylan Shoemaker, the catcher, able to recover and flip the ball to Hill, but sliding in safely under the tag and ahead of the tag. Foul ball out of play on the 1-0 for Adrian Salas. One ball, one strike. One one curveball way high from Hill two and one. And Puerto Rico last represented in the Pony League World Series by Levittown in 2017, but they were two and out. Two one fouled straight back. Also caught the glove of catcher Shoemaker. A two and two. The count on Adrian Salas, he produced an RBI double and scored a run back in the third. Runners at second and third, 2-2, and a liner into center field, sinking liner for a base hit. 
Kelly comes up throwing. The throw is cut off by Hill. An RBI single for Adrian Salas scoring Shaparo. And it's 9 to 7 Hagerston. Remember what Randy just said, cut off by Hill, the pitcher. Hill belongs behind home plate. Yoaniel Santos. Hit a two run homer in the third inning. Bats with two on and a two run deficit for Puerto Rico. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Pump fake the first and a pump fake back toward third as well by Jacob Hill. Now this game continues to have plenty of twists and turns. Curveball a strike. Runner goes from first and in there safely at second is Salas stolen base. So neither team has been able to control the other's running game. Plenty of stolen bases in particular in this fourth inning for both sides. 0-1. Ground ball. That'll get through the right side for a base hit. Figueroa scores easily. Rounding third. Salas now he puts on the brakes. As he'll hold up at third base. RBI single for Santos. 9-8. Hagerstown's lead trimmed to one. Able to go opposite way through the right side. And Fletcher Lewis's throw strong to home plate, which keeps Salas at third for the time being. Ball. Hill's fastball low to Samuel Cruz. He's 0 for 1 plus a walk so far today. Closed the book on Fleming. Two and a third innings. Gave up six runs. 1-0. Fly ball, deep right center field. Kelly on his horse diving. Effort cannot get there, and that's in the gap up against the fence. One in, Salas scores. Here comes Santos. He crosses, throw into third, and out at third, trying to stretch it into a triple is Samuel Cruz, but it is a two-run double to tie up the game 9-9. Nine to nine. Or excuse me, to give Puerto Rico the lead 10 to 9, my apologies. And the out at third, the inning second out. The out at third is 8 6 5. Uh, no, I take that back. It was 9 6 5 as, as uh, right fielder Lewis had to get the ball and fired it into the cutoff man on a great throw to third. So well done to get the second out at third base. But now a 10-9 lead for Puerto Rico. Strike delivered to Joel Corre. Strike one. Jacob Hill. Pitch in the dirt. Two and one. So a five-run bottom of the fourth. Has leapfrog Puerto Rico back ahead. Hills 2-1. High for a ball, 3-1 to Corey. Jacob Hill in line to be the uh, recipient of the bold face type on the front page of the Observer Reporter in a story that Joe Smeltzer is going to write. But now it turns out that Hill's on the line. He's on the hook to be the losing pitcher, having given up runs 8, 9, and 10 in this fourth inning. Three runs in the inning. They are numbers 8, 9, and 10 of the game in favor of Puerto Rico. That charge with Figueroa, Salas, and Santos. Those runs that scored. 3-1. And reaching out at a pitch that was well out of the strike zone but comes up empty for strike two. Corey knew it. Hit a home run, a solo shot back in the third inning. He's one for two. 10-9, Arecibo, Puerto Rico now ahead. Bottom of the fourth. 
Payoff from Hill, curveball call, strike three. That'll end the inning for strikeout as well for Jacob Hill. But yet again, the damage done as the seesaw battle continues. Arecibo, Puerto Rico with five runs in the bottom of the fourth and your score after four, Puerto Rico 10, Hagerstown, Maryland nine. I was born to play baseball, but where I'm from, we never take anything for granted. I was raised to value hard work and to practice respect. I still call my parents before every game, and my dad is still my hero. Maybe I'm not what everyone wants me to be, but I'm exactly who I've always been. Some say I'm the best to play the game. Me? I just want to play. Arecibo, Puerto Rico has jumped back ahead. 10 to 9. Puerto Rico leading Hagerstown, Maryland. 11 runs scoring combined to the fourth inning. A six run top of the fourth for Hagerstown, and then a five run bottom of the fourth for Arecibo. As Arecibo will start this fifth inning with a lefty loosening up of the bullpen. Marcos Orocho ready to begin the top of the fifth on the mound as he had concluded it in the fourth. Genzel Arazo is the young man loosening up for Puerto Rico out of the bullpen. Octavius Drummond, first pitch to him, a strike, swings and misses, now behind 0-2. Drummond one for two. Couple of runs scored on the 0-2. Fouls it away behind home plate. Drummond hit by a pitch in the third inning. He's one for one, was hit by a pitch and scored in the third inning. Singled and scored in the fourth. 10-9 Puerto Rico with the advantage. Ball. Top of the fifth, offering is outside, trying to get Drummond to chase away. But able to resist. Right-hander Marcos Orocho comes with a one-two, swing and a miss, able to get him on the breaking ball. Drummond goes around for strike three, one out in the fifth. Second strikeout in relief for Orocho. Good action on that one to get Drummond to wave and miss. Here's Sincere Kelly, first plate appearance for him today. He entered as a Pinch runner for Coleman Bragunier back in the fourth. Stayed in to play center field. Here, first pitch swinging. Drills one to right center field. That's going to get down to the gap. Cut off by Shaparo. Kelly turning on the speed, but he is out. Thrown out at second. The throw gets him as Figueroa applies the tag, the shortstop. Two outs now in the fifth. Ouch. Was a base hit for Kelly, but thrown out at second. Ouch. Well, and what made that play happen was Shaparo cutting it off. It, if it gets beyond him, it's easily extra bases, maybe a triple for Kelly. But because Shaparo got to it in the gap, able to apply the throw then to Figueroa, 8-6 on the put out. Here's Dylan Shoemaker, 
strike. Bob Gregg just said he noticed the first base coach patted his chest, indicating my fault. What did uh, there was a strike out there for Drummond? For Drummond, correct. Dylan Shoemaker, 0-1, waves and misses at a bender, pulled the string for strike two. So first base coach Frankie McAllister saying that one's on me. 0-2, fastball away. One of the toughest things to learn as a young baseball player, base running. It is an instinctive art. Two outs, bases empty, top of the fifth, 10-9 Puerto Rico with the lead, and the one-two swung on and missed by Shoemaker for strike three And what has been a rarity in this one, a one-two-three inning in the top of the fifth. The base hit, nobody left on with Kelly thrown out at second. We head to the bottom of the fifth. It's Puerto Rico 10, Hagerstown, Maryland 9. There's a place far from the city, yet just down the road, where likes and shares mean more. It's in every bite, each performance, and every night, where the miles we ride together become the memories we share forever. We dream because they fought for it. We give because they worked for it. The American spirit lives here. I can A lot to do in this region, Western Pennsylvania. Many festivals to take advantage of right here in Washington County, including the very popular Bavarian Oktoberfest. And you also have the Covered Bridge Festival as well, all right here in Washington County, Pennsylvania. This has been a seesaw contest. And the team from Puerto Rico making the long trip. They have the one run lead as we at advance here in this contest. Let's go back to the booth to Randy Gore and Lanny Frateri. Being uh, um, covered and uh, <laughs> added to by our video streaming longtime volunteers. These gentlemen, thanks very much for your years of service to the Pony League World Series. By the way, uh, during that last half inning, I went up and went into the truck to see how Scott Bartlett and Roger Lenhardt were doing, and they both got very upset that I was out of the broadcast booth. And, they didn't yell at me. They yelled at my grandson because he allowed me to get out of the broadcast booth to go up to the TV truck. So you can get your grandson in a great deal of trouble throughout the weekend. Yeah, I sure and week. I tell you what, though, he'll be well taken care of over the next seven days. I can assure you that. Well, he's doing a fine job thus far and uh, looking forward to the week ahead as well. This is just the tip of the iceberg, a 10-9 lead for Arecibo Puerto Rico in game one of the tournament against Hagerstown, Maryland. We've got some changes for you as well. Braden Barr goes from first base to the pitcher's mound. Jacob Hill from, from the mound now to first base. And Dominic Ross is your new right fielder for Hagerstown, Maryland. Bottom of the fifth we go, Derek Trinidad leading off, and Trinidad takes outside, ball one. Trinidad one for two, singled in the second, popped out to short in the third inning. So Braden Barr trying to find a way to put up a zero here against this potent Puerto Rico lineup, swing and a miss for a strike, one and one. One one from Barr. Fouled off, rolls, just trickles to the backstop, one and two. Well, a good way to start would be to retire the leadoff batter. Both teams uh, and pitching staffs have struggled in that department. Minus the top of the fifth. Marcos Orocho able to accomplish that and had a one, two, three inning with the help of some of his defense as well. One, two out of the zone, two and two on Derek Trinidad. 2-2, fouled out of play 
into the seats, third base bleachers. Puerto Rico, last time the country of Puerto Rico won a Port Pony League World Series game was back in 2015. Mayaguez, Puerto Rico, went three and two in the tournament and reached the semifinals that year. 2-2 is high for a ball. Now a full count on Trinidad. Only losses came to the eventual champion, Chinese Taipei, back in 2015 for Mayaguez. 3-2 is ball four. Trinidad with a leadoff walk. So Braden Barr can't come up with a formula to get the leadoff man either. Uh, in the 2015 tournament, Mayaguez, Puerto Rico, defeating NASA, Houston, Texas, 17-4. Johnstown 14 to 2, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, of course, and Bay County, Michigan, 11 to 1. So three wins in the tournament in 2015. That's the last time anyone representing the country of Puerto Rico has won a Pony League World Series tournament game. Runner at first, nobody out. Pitch inside to Marcos Orocho, who walked and scored in the fourth. And he was the leadoff man of the fourth inning as he sparked that five run frame. Trinidad with a leadoff walk, leading off of first, swinging a miss on the 1-0 by Orocho. One ball, one strike. Again, Orocho walked and scored in the fourth, his only plate appearance today. 1-1, swinging a miss. 10-9, Arecibo, Puerto Rico, leading Hagerstown. One two from Barr, swung on and missed. Foul tip into the glove of catcher Dylan Shoemaker as he squeezes it for the innings first out of the bottom of the fifth. First out recorded by Barr is a strikeout. Victor Alejandro Sapero, 0 for 1, sack bunt in the fourth. Third baseman Eli Fleming edging in as the first no pitch catch. hit on the ground. Good block over there at first base by Jacob Hill as he's able to keep it in front of him, pick up the ball, and step on the bag at first to get the inning second out. Trinidad, who was off of the pitch, was easily going to get second, but a terrific job there by Jacob Hill to keep it in front and get that out at first base. So Sapero retired, brings up Joshua Shaparo. Chaparro singled and scored a run his last time in the fourth. Bounces went foul third base way. Chaparro overall one for three. Stolen base to his credit during that fourth frame. Has great speed. Big part of the reason why he is in the leadoff spot. Also the starting center fielder today for Arecibo. Breaking ball strike, nothing in two. Ten nine Arecibo, Puerto Rico leading Hagerstown. Bottom of the fifth, two outs, runner at second is Trinidad. 0-2, bounce foul. That off the fencing. And handled by Victor Sapero Sr. Over at the third base coaching box. Hollering out instructions for Trinidad. 0-2 again and another foul ball wasted out of play. Out toward the refreshment stand and beyond. Coming up next, once this one goes final, it's Guasave Sinaloa, Mexico. Facing off against Youngstown, Ohio. Game two of our twin bill here tonight to start the action at the Pony League World Series. Runner breaks on a pitch that was high for a ball in there safely underneath the tag is Trinidad for a stolen base. One and two on the batter, Shaparo. Braden Barr on the one, two. Delivers and gets the strikeout. Swing and a miss on some high heat. 
Courtesy of Shaparo ends the frame. A walk and one left on. Your score after five. Arecibo, Puerto Rico, 10, Hagerstown, Maryland, 9. DJ's a sharpshooter, but when he went down with a shoulder tear, he lost his aim. That's when Dr. Sam Akavon and the sports medicine team at AHN got it back for him, just like they did for Josh Bell. Thanks to the surgeons at AHN, they're both back in the game and back on target. Whatever your sport, whatever your level, getting back to what you love is living proof. Call 412 Doctors for an appointment with AHN, official medical provider of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go holding a 10-9 lead over Hagerstown, Maryland. And to take us the rest of the way, here's Lanny Frateri. All right, Randy, thank you very much. 10 runs, 9 hits for Puerto Rico. 9 runs, 7 hits for Hagerstown. 2, 3, and 4 of the Hagerstown lineup coming up here in the sixth inning. Rocho's pitch to McAllister, a strike. Jake McAllister, 1 for 2, plus a run-producing RBI. 0-1 pitch is a breaking ball away. It was 1-0 Puerto Rico after one. It was 5-3 in favor of Puerto Rico after three. 1-1 one, one pitch. Yes, and McAllister with a lazy swing. And it's now 1-2. and two. Hagerstown led 9-5 after three and a half and then Puerto Rico reclaimed the lead with a five run bottom of the fourth inning. 10 9 score in favor of Puerto Rico in the sixth inning. Ball. One two pitches down low. Jeff Rabel, the home plate umpire, Dave Smolka from Grove City, Ohio, as is Jeff Rabel. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a foul ball. The second base umpire, Jeff Tichelis, is from Poland, Ohio. And works for Gray Bar. The third base umpire is Pat Carney. He's from Poland, Ohio. And Pat is a teacher and athletic director. Ground ball, sliding backhanded stop by the shortstop Figueroa, and a strike to first. And McAllister is out number one. There are some shortstops that prefer to make the play on the backhand. And done well here by the shortstop Figueroa. Strong arm necessary for successful shortstops. Pat Carney, teacher and athletic director in Trumbull County. Now Jacob Hill. Hill, a three run double in the third, an RBI single in the fourth. 10 9 in favor of Arecibo, Puerto Rico. And Hill takes a strike. Hill. Attending St. Marie, St. Maria Goretti High School, 0-1 pitch to him. Ground ball to third. Salas throw to first, wide of the mark, breaking for second base is Hill. Hill tripped up the first baseman Corey, and Hagerstown has the tying run at second base with one out of the top of the sixth inning on the E5. Watch it from right field for those of you that have the video stream a throw well off the mark and then the two players got tangled up first baseman Corey and the batter runner Hill runner at second one out and Braden Barr who is the uh, fourth pitcher of the game for Hagerstown got a chance to uh, bring his team from one run down to maybe a runner two up and put himself in position to get the win. But a swing and a miss. Barr, one for three in the game. Singled in the second inning. 10-9. Puerto Rico leads opening game of the 2019 Pony League World Series. The Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. 0-1 pitch from Orocho. Called strike. Off-speed pitch to make it 0-2. Barr, number four in the batting order. Decided to take that breaking ball that was outside and we're on the outside corner that is stretched by Orocho. Checks the runner at second 0-2 pitch 
who have just missed outside one ball two strikes. Hit the glove but the catcher Cruz's glove was outside. And the one two pitch. Strike three called inside corner two outs. And Orocho picks up his fourth strikeout. Came on to the fourth. Runner at second, two outs for Hagerstown. And Fletcher Lewis. Lewis 0 for 2 in the game. Swing and a miss, strike one. A, cute, a very cute picture of a young baseball fan here at the Pony League World Series. Young man from Mexico making the trip from Guasave. Ball. Pitch down low, one ball and one strike. Good block by catcher Cruz. It is 10 9 in favor of Puerto Rico. I hope this young man didn't have to come with the team because the uh, Mexican club bust all the way from Mexico. Started on Monday and arrived, what, late Wednesday. Yeah, I understand a 64 hour bus Ooh. ride. 1 1 pitch. Ball. And it's up high. Runner at second base, Hill, two outs. By the way, keep in mind, uh, here's the 2 1 pitch to Lewis. Fly ball right field into the corner and a foul ball, two and two. Keep in mind, in light of the large number of pitches that we've seen from all of the pitchers tonight that could have an impact down the road, what with the pitch limit that is part of Pony League baseball. If a pitcher throws between 21 and 35 pitches needs one day off 36 to 52 days off. And for Orocho he's at 45 pitches. If he gets to 51 he's going to need three days off. Now the 2 2 pitch to Lewis. Check swing and a breaking ball away. Not a swing three and two on Lewis 10 9 Puerto Rico leads here on the top of the sixth inning an appeal and the ruling of the home plate umpire is sustained by the first base umpire. Well what are you thinking Fletcher Lewis he missed with a 2 2 breaking ball is he coming breaking ball 3 2 or is he going to throw the fastball breaking ball missed. Two men on. Nine walks in the game, plus three hit batsmen. Runners at first and second, two outs for Carter Conroy, who is one for two plus a walk. 10 9. Hagerstown trailing and batting in the top of the sixth inning. Foul ball back out of play towards our TV truck. Our coverage on WJPA in Washington, Pennsylvania. Mark Edwards producing at the station. A one pitch, swing and a miss on a pitch up and in. To the left handed batter Conroy. Kind of appropriate that Mark is producing tonight. It's a beast of a game. Hill at second, Lewis at first. And the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, out number three. Hagerstown, no runs, no hits, an error two left on base. After five and a half innings of play, at the Dick's Sporting Goods Pony League World Series, Puerto Rico 10, Hagerstown 9. What are we playing to this time? How about a game of MVP? 415 to right field. Right field with the Kirk Gibson trot. Seat 15. That's an M. Dodger dogs all day. Woo! 
Extra kraut, please. Mouth pool. That looks like a V. All tied up. Looks like I win MVP again. Let's run it back. Pony League World Series. This has been the site for many years, many decades, as fans have flocked to this event here in Washington, Pennsylvania. You see some of the vintage automobiles, and man, it draws a crowd. This is one of the premier events, one of the premier youth athletic events in this region, as uh, fans have come out for many a year to enjoy the ball games here. The 2019 Pony League World Series, of course, underway. And fans getting a great view of the game, even if they're beyond the fence. As we take it to the present day, game one, it's been a dandy, a one run lead with Puerto Rico trying to hang on. And this is game one of the doubleheader. Youngstown, Ohio, coming up against Sinaloa, Mexico. That's next. Let's go back to Lanny and Randy. Fleming takes over in right field. Lewis moves from right field to the uh, to the mound and Barr moves from the mound to first base. Lewis becomes the fifth pitcher of the game for Hagerstown. And Jacob Hill goes from first back to third yep, base. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, Barr works an inning. Does not give up a run. Struck out two walked one. Doing some bookkeeping here yeah, before we get this in. Double started. checking the batting order. Is, uh, was there a change at second base? Yes, there's a change at second as well. Drummond no longer in. That's what Bob Gregg was asking the Hagerstown team who's in the number eight spot of the batting order. Uh, okay, that is. That's uh, Ross. Ross at second base. So Ross goes from right to second, and Drummond is no longer in the game. So Fletcher Lewis. I'm not mistaken, has returned in that spot. Ball fouled away, strike one. We have uh, Figueroa with a perfect game. He's one for one. He's walked twice and has scored three runs. Bottom of the sixth, Puerto Rico leads 10 9. Oh. oh, one pitch is up high, and the count one and one. Hagerstown's got the bottom three spots of its batting order coming up in the do or die seventh inning. Ball. Pitches outside two and one. Yes, it was. It was a 9 5 Hagerstown lead after three and a half innings, and then the five run Puerto Rican fourth inning. Ball. Two one pitch high and outside. Three balls, one strike on this left handed batter. Ball four. Ball four. And Figueroa walks for the third time in this game. Just to follow up on an item, Dominic Ross should be in that eighth spot in the batting order for Hagerstown. Here's Ad uh, Adrian Salas, two for three with two RBIs. And a throw to nope, a step off the rubber, and then pitcher Lewis held the ball. Pitch ground ball to the second baseman. Ross had trouble getting out of his glove, but does get the ball to the shortstop just in time for the out at second base. Once again, when the ball went out, came off the bat, you assumed a good chance for a double play, but Ross had a little bit of trouble there, and so with a smile on his face now, he decides that he's gotten that lead out. And, and it brings up Santos. 
Santos two for three hit a two run homer in the third had an RBI single in the fourth and swings at the first pitch he sees fly ball to center field Kelly back and just shy of the track makes the catch out number two Salas back to first. Now Santos hit a home run earlier in this game back in the third this time he gets just underneath one he thought he might have a chance at it but ends up skying out and now someone Cruz Cruz had the two run double in the fourth that propelled the team from Puerto Rico from one run down to one run up and a foul ball back out of play strike one. Second game of the tournament, second game of the day, Youngstown against Guasavi, Mexico. Scheduled to start at eight. It's going to be probably closer to quarter to nine. Time requested and granted. Oh, one pitch. Ball. Low it outside. Pretty good gap in left center field because center fielder Kelly is towards right center and left fielder Conroy is towards the line. Cruz number five in the batting order. Time requested again and granted. One one pitch. Ball. Down low. And let me tell you again that in the do or die seventh for Hagerstown, hitters seven, eight, nine coming up. Two one pitch. Line to right field and over the head of right fielder Fleming. Breaking for third is Salas. And it's now first and third with two outs on the single by Cruz. Ball a rope to right field. Air charged on that play was hit right at Fleming. And uh, had it in his glove. He, he misread it as well. He charged in on it and uh, off his glove E9 allowing Cruz to first and uh, Solace as well to third keeping this inning alive. And Dave Barr, the manager of Hagerstown, going to the mound. And meanwhile, there's a conversation between Lewis and the second base umpire. You know, the, the way that Lewis was reacting, I wonder if a balk was called. Keep in mind that uh, in the major leagues, a balk is not a t is not timeout. Uh, and I don't know. It, it varies from age group to age group in high school and college etc but in the big leagues if there's a ball call the offensive team can take the play but nevertheless it's still first and third the conference breaks up it's a one run game Arecibo leading 10 to 9 and that'll bring up Joel Corey Corey hit a solo home run on the third at the time that he homered it was a 5 3 Arecibo lead runners at first and third runners at the lines with two outs ball. pitch in the dirt ball trickles away from the catcher the runner Salas stays at third Cruz goes to second on a wild pitch five five wild pitches thrown by uh, Hagerstown pitchers okay. you go to first base and apparently a an intentional walk has been ordered as Jeff Rabel you heard him say you go to first base referring to Corey and here's Trinidad who is one for two left handed batter 10 9 in favor of Arecibo over Hagerstown ball popped foul territory third base side and back out of play over by Kyle Wiggs who will have a interview for us after the ball game 
Good to have Kyle on board with us for the Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Our video streaming from Pikewood Creative, Roger Lenhart, our producer, Scott Bartlett, our director, Scott's, uh, Scott's daughter, Sarah, is one of our replay operators. Oh, one pitch. Oh. And it's up high one and one. Aaron Shackleford, the other replay operator. We'll all be spending a good bit of time together over the next six days. 1-1 one, one pitch he is outside. Starting at 542 on this Friday night and ending sometime Thursday night, August 15th. The championship game. 2-1 pitch high and outside. We're wondering, will it be a team from the West Zone and a team from the Asia Pacific Zone meeting for a sixth consecutive year in the championship game? A lot of baseball to be played between now and that Thursday night encounter. Three balls, one strike, two outs, bases loaded for Arecibo. 3-1 pitch, ball four, it is a bases loaded walk. And the lead for Puerto Rico is 11-9 as Salas scores. Cruz to third, Corey to first. And Trinidad picks up the easy RBI. No hits in this inning for Arecibo, but one run and a chance for much more. So that intentional walk set the table for a bases loaded situation and Trinidad able to walk another run in. Foul ball back by Orocho. Seven walks from Hagerstown pitching. Four of the runners that have reached base by walks have scored and one walk has led to the 11th run. One ball and one strike. 11 9 in favor of Arecibo. And the 1 1 pitch. Strike called inside corner. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, out number three, but Puerto Rico picks up a run without the luxury of a hit. There was an error and three left on base. Last chance for Hagerstown. We go to the seventh. Puerto Rico 11, Maryland 9. Unfortunately, we've gotten some bad news. To whom it may concern, due to budget shortfalls, the Panthers baseball program. Ballard softball. Vikings basketball. Woodlawn soccer. The Tigers basketball program is indefinitely suspended. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Every kid deserves a chance to play. They play in all corners of the world. Boys and girls each learning the true value that only teamwork, competition, and sportsmanship can provide. Each year, more than 500,000 participants of all ages proudly represent Pony on baseball and softball diamonds of all sizes. Everyone deserves a chance to learn and play the game. They're our players today. They'll be our leaders in the future. Pony, making a difference in your neighborhood and all over our world. the seventh inning. And then in the on deck circle was Ross as uh, Randy told you in the uh, 
bottom of the six. That was the look of the uh, Hagerstown lineup. Eleven nine in favor of uh, Arasibo. Well, Marco Sorocho, a chance to uh, finish this one off. An important insurance run a half inning ago. And uh, with the way this game has gone, you'll take any extra insurance you can get and when you can get it. So uh, certainly favorable toward Puerto Rico to begin this top of the seventh. And it's been two straight uh, goose eggs on the board put up by Orocho. He needs one more to close out a victory. What's he got? Two and two thirds innings and has given up just one hit, no runs. He has struck out four. And he's walked three. Rocho in line to get the win. Hill would be the loser. And the pitch to Fleming. He is up high ball one. Ball. Outside two balls no strikes low and outside. And the 2 0 -oh pitch Ball. is outside. It was one nothing Puerto Rico after one. It was five three in favor of Ari Carball after three nine five Hagerstown led in the top of the fourth or in the middle of the fourth inning. There's a called strike. Then a five run bottom of the fourth and a one run bottom of the sixth. That's why it's 11 9 in favor of Puerto Rico. Count three and one on Fleming. Swing and a foul ball off to the right, not a play. Three two pitch fly ball and a foul ball down the right side where there is activity in the uh, Arecibo bullpen. Eli Fleming going to be an eighth grader at Springfield Middle School in the fall. Three two pitch <laughs> called strike three one out in the seventh inning. Strikeout number five for Orocho. Real dandy 3 2 breaking ball. And a way to battle back. He was 3 and 1 on Fleming, and obviously, you know, same mindset. You would avoid that leadoff walk, especially with a two run lead. If you put him on, then you're looking at the game tying run being represented at the plate, but that's not the case now, thanks to that strikeout. That was the sixth strikeout for Orocho, and Ross comes up. Right handed batter. Ball. Orocho misses high and inside. Dominic Ross, who will attend North Hagerstown High School. One ball pitch. And a called strike. Seventh inning. Hagerstown down to its final two outs. And the 1 1 pitch. Called strike. Kelly's on deck. Arocho is one two pitch. Ground ball to third. Sliding stop by Salas. Strike throwing to first two outs. Fabulous play right there by Salas here in the seventh. Sliding, picking the short hop to his left. And this has been a game with a lot of offense, but they're flashing the leather. It's Salas. And Kelly steps in. Two down, nobody on. Seventh inning of a seven inning ball game. The winner of this game takes on Chinese Taipei at five o'clock tomorrow. The loser will play the loser of our Second game tonight. Play the loser of the Youngstown Guasave Mexico game. Pitch to Kelly. 
is a called strike. Oh, one pitch. Well, way outside. One one pitch. Fly ball. High fly ball to center field. Chaparro goes back and makes the catch. Hagerstown, a one, two, three, seventh. The final score in the first game of the 2019 Dick Sporting Goods Pony League World Series. Arakaibo, Puerto Rico, not 11. Arakaibo, Puerto Rico, 11. Hagerstown, Maryland, nine. Kick off the fall season at the EQT Washington and Greene County's Covered Bridge Festival, September 21st and 22nd. Explore 10 different scenic Covered Bridge locations and an array of activities from craft and food vendors, historical reenactments, entertainment, and more. Break away from the everyday. Take a deep breath and dream here. Unplug, unwind, and just be here. Plan your trip today at visitwashingtoncountypa.com. The American spirit lives here. Nice comeback win for Puerto Rico Arecibo down three to one and nine to six. The Puerto Rican team rallies for an 11 9 win over Hagerstown as they salute the fans that made that long trip to here at the ballpark. A big five run fourth inning. That was the difference for Arecibo. Samuel Cruz had the go ahead two run double that put his team ahead for good. Home runs in this game from Elanio Santos, his two run shot. That sent a message early in uh, Joel Corre with a home run as well. So it will be the Puerto Rican team advancing to take on defending champ Chinese Taipei from the Asia Pacific zone. And that'll come up 5 o'clock tomorrow. Hagerstown into a loser's bracket game against the loser of our doubleheader second game coming up. For Landy, for Terry and Randy Gore, I'm Kyle Wiggs. You've been watching the 2019 Pony League World Series.